Hi, I'm Sam with STS. Welcome to the Clinical Minute. Today I'm joined by Jody, and in this segment we're gonna look at walk aid biflex cuff fitting. Before you start placing the electrodes on your patient, make sure you put the walk aid on the cuff so that it gets the actual size of the cuff that's going to be fit to the patient. In order to get reproducible outcomes in the clinic and also for your patient to get reproducible outcomes at home, you wanna make sure the cuff fits snugly. You can't have any gapping in between the skin and the cuff. If you find that the patients get a great dorsiflexion when you're using your hand to mimic the cuff when you place the cuff on the leg, they lose that dorsiflexion. You might need to have the cuff a little bit tighter. So adjust the black strap by changing the Velcro piece here and just make it the size that you need to fit more snugly. You might need to go to a smaller size cuff if that doesn't work. Another option is to take a pinch pad and stick it inside the anterior medial aspect of the cuff. What that does is it takes up the slack and it pulls the entire cuff from behind the fibular head towards the front of the leg. And that will give you the contact that you need to get the reproducible dorsiflexion. Another issue that we sometimes run across is that the patient's electrode is not captured by the cuff. It's really important that we maintain contact of that electrode with the skin at all times. So if this happens, replace it with a large cuff. That way you'll have complete electrode coverage and contact with the skin at all times and you'll have more reproducible outcomes. You're probably going to have to make that cuff strap shorter. That's what this Velcro piece is for so that you can still have that cuff strap secured. That way when you put the cuff on, now you're capturing the electrodes completely and there's nothing sticking out for the air to get between the electrode and that skin. You'll get a better response. This has been the Clinical Minute. For additional videos, visit spsco.com slash clinicalminute.